we want to explore now the graphs of tangent of x. Now this graph is a lot different than our sine and cosine graph. It's not sinusoidal. Rather, it's a repetitive pattern that we'll see. So let's just look at a couple of um, things that I want you to be aware of as I graphed and some um, indications about some things. The period of the tangent graph is a cycle of just pi. So I would say then the distance for one cycle is a distance of pi. The domain is all real numbers. Every number along the x-axis will produce a tangent value except for the odd values of pi halves or for the odd multiples of pi halves. So pi halves, three pi halves, five pi halves, negative pi halves, negative three halves pi, and so forth. So the domain is defined at every position of x except for odd multiples of pi halves. Its range is all real numbers. There's no value on the y-axis that I cannot get with the, tangent, uh, with the tangent value. There's vertical asymptotes at those odd values. Remember we talked about where it's undefined at? It's undefined at places where we have a vertical asymptote. The x-intercepts where the graph crosses the x-axis at will always be the midway point between the two asymptotes. It's an odd function. And then maybe one more thing that we can describe is that the graph or the value of the graph has a value at one or negative one at one fourth and three fourths of the way through a period. So one fourth of the way right there, I'll have a value of negative one and then three-fourths of the way through the period, I'll have a value of one. So those are just some of the characteristics that are common to our tangent graphs as we explore how do we deal with those graphs and the variations of the tangent graph.